So hello and good evening, this is RuthBosolo.com and today we're going to talk about connectors, both connectors from Power BI Desktop and connectors for PowerBI.com or the service. So I will uh, walk you through the process to actually get a connector and what type of connectors you can create, just in a second. Okay, so today we're going to talk about connectors, uh, connectors in both in Power BI Desktop and in Power BI Service, you know, PowerBI.com. So if you want to create a connector, your own connector in Power BI Desktop, then you just need to download a package for Visual Studio. You just code it in M. It sounds easy. It's a little bit more complicated than that. I have a video on that. Uh, you save it on your... Uh, uh, computer and uh, then you will be able to start using it since end of April beginning of May you have the possibility to schedule refresh those connectors which is absolutely fantastic there is a but though and it is that you can only do it with an on-premise gateway so they are working on the other gateways and they will fix it soon hopefully but for now you can only schedule refresh your custom connectors for power bi desktop with a personal gateway okay uh, miguel Scobar has actually uh, some um, updated some of his uh, connectors so you can just go and check him out and try it it's uh, very very easy so now that you have the connector in power bi desktop you might wonder okay if i want to have a connector in powerbi.com and I've been asked this quite a lot of times so I thought I'd, I'd clarify it and so connectors in powerbi.com you know in the service they are called content packs so if you want to find information about them you have to search about content packs and not connectors um, so you have two types of content packs you have service content packs and then you have organizational content packs so the service content packs are the you know software as a service connectors. So this is like the Marketo, the Google Analytics, the uh, Mailchimp, and all the, the, those kinds of connectors. You have the possibility to create your own connector in there. So if you have a service, a software as a service, you can create a connector and you can submit it to Power BI team to be published on powerbi.com, which is absolutely fantastic. There is a process for that that you have to follow. So you have to create, of course, the connector, you have to test it. Once you have tested it thoroughly, you have to send it to the Power BI team and they will test it on their end. Then you have to sign the license agreement. And then if everything goes well, your connector will go live on powerbi.com, which is absolutely fantastic. There is a video, I will link it down below, where they go through the entire process. And then there is also a link to the documentation. So you have the possibility to have your own connector into powerbi.com. It has to be software as a service. Uh, you have... Um, let me see, you cannot have direct query or live connections, so you have to have an API. The API has to be a REST or a OData API. And then you have you know, different options for authentication, like uh, API key or ways, or you, you, know, you have all kinds of uh, ways to authenticate your service. Uh, can you do a connector for a service that you don't own? So for example, uh, I have a connector on Google Analytics that I have made that you know have most more options than the standard one. I cannot publish that on powerbi.com unless Google says it's okay. So you have to ask the owner of the service to be able to actually publish the connector in there. Okay, so take that into account. Now you have also organizational content packs, and organizational content packs are Basically, you know, the, the, all the reports that you publish on Power BI, you can create a, a content pack out of it. So let's say that you have a, a service where you, you've created a report that you like and you have dashboards and you say, okay, I want my organization to be able to get this by click, click, click. Then you can create an organizational content pack for that. And I'll show you in a second how that is done. It's quite easy. Uh, 
And then you have the normal apps, you know, when, when you publish something in Power BI, you have the um, possibility to you put everything into a workspace and then you can publish an app. And then you can distribute the, the app to the entire organization. The same happens with the organizational content packs, actually. So I'm not really sure exactly what the difference is between them. But if you know, just let me know in the comment box. I'd love to know. So how about we jump into the computer? I'll show you how to create the organizational content pack and then I'll see you back here in a second. Okay, so here we are in powerbi.com and I am in my workspace, okay? So to create an organizational content pack, you just go to the um, settings thing, the gear, and then create content pack. You need to have a pro account to be able to do this, okay? Just uh, to let you know, uh, we say test content pack, test content pack. And then all the reports that I have on that workspace will be available. And then I can choose if I want to um, publish the data set with the report or the dashboard or just the report or, uh, you know, you choose. So let's uh, let's see, we take this uh, north wind uh, report. I don't want to have anything else. It doesn't have a dashboard either. So upload. How about. Can get. Doesn't matter. Okay. So there is a limit on that. Let's get this YouTube logo. And now that you're ready, uh, you just click publish. And then it says it has been published to the content pack library, view content pack. And then here you can actually uh, edit or delete it. If you want to see it while you are in your workspace where the, the content pack was published, click on organizational content packs. And it might take a second, but otherwise you will see it here. Uh, so this is actually the way to share um, content packs within your organization. So this is the uh, service content packs. This is the one that I was talking before where you need to have an API and uh, all that kind of stuff. Here we have uh, the documentation for how to create it. You have to meet the requirements, which is what I discussed on the video. You build the content, you create a dashboard, you test the content pack and then you submit it to um, the Power BI team. Okay, I will have a link to these into um, in in the description box below, so you can actually go and check that out too. So that is the way you create content packs, and then of course you have the normal app thing. You have to be aware that, for example, if I would go to another content pack or another workspace. So for example, now um, I am on my social media uh, workspace. If I go here to view content pack, I, I, okay, I had already created that before. So let me choose another workspace. So I'm here into the Power BI workspace. And if I go here, view content pack, I don't have any content packs. So the content packs are created by workspace, okay? So it's important to remember that because maybe you publish and say, where did my content pack go? <laughs> well, you know now. Okay, so that's all about content packs. I hope that it makes it a little bit more clear about, you know, the options that you have depending on which Power BI package you're using. And uh, I'll see you again on Friday. So take care. Bye.